Hello, welcome once again to my channel. My name is Eldrick Tinkatoyad. I am the digital marketer and communications consultant behind Advert Writer. So in this particular video, after a long hiatus, is the I would like to cover the idea of building your content bank. Now, okay, when it comes to businesses, um, when you have your website, when we, ha when you have your Facebook, when you have any social media platforms, one of you, you don't want to leave it empty with nothing. There are many ways to populate your website, your digital assets, basically. So let's let's re let's recap certain terms that I'm going to use. Right, we have digital assets. Now this can be your social media. Why is it not moving? Okay, this can be your social media. Then you have your website, your e your emails, or your email database. So your social media would include, let's say, Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, and so on and so forth. Even YouTube, in fact. So you you will want to populate whatever you have with, uh, with, you know, regular content coming out. It could be a weekly thing. It could be a daily thing. It could be a monthly thing. Your email database, your emails, for example, your emailers. It could be weekly or monthly. Uh, blog posts can be weekly or monthly or bi-weekly right? or every fortnight So how do you prepare that? Okay, what many people try to do and even I fall into this mistake by the way is that we Come to a point where when we're creative then we work on the content When we have an idea okay when I say creative I don't mean the typical idea of being a, uh, that uh, that artisanal creative what I'm saying is inspired. Okay? When we feel inspired, then we start developing content. Now, for someone who once upon a time did about 100 videos, there are two things there on real estate topics, various real estate topics uh, on my YouTube channel. I think you can discover it somewhere. My goal when I prepared that, it wasn't so much as to convert anyone, but rather to learn and to educate. Uh, there's no better way to learn than actually teaching and sharing uh, it, it sticks faster and longer right so we make that mistake of coming with that feeling of inspired without inspiration I can't do content when you're when you're looking at your digital assets when it is a channel to communicate your value proposition to your customer segment it, it is not based on inspiration anymore you need some plan you need a schedule of sorts you know so how do you come up what okay how do you develop that schedule now uh, before what many people try to in one way and this is where I assist one of my particular client uh, you identify in a day in a month right Let's say you know there's Sunday, okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You use Excel. I mean, I I use a Google spreadsheet because you can share it across the organization, and you can add rows. You populate what are your national day and festivities. Festivities that's a bulk of your content right you can once you go there you identify you start uh, you start getting some ideas and and references on what you can deploy let's say uh, Valentine's Day was two days ago so you want to do Valentine's Day fine um, what I would recommend if you will this these are free resources by the way I would use Canva I will use Pixabay and of course, there's Google search. So Pixabay is a good source of royalty-free 
pictures canva helps you manipulate create visuals without the need of uh, advanced tools like photoshop or um, illustrator it's good enough in my view it's good enough if you want to create content simple content for your social media simple content for your website in fact that's what i did on advertwriter.com on eldrick tinker toyat so uh, eldrick tinker toyat the facebook page on eldricktoyat.com i use canva to develop the different visuals that you see there even on linkedin um, unless of course i state otherwise that it's it's taken from other sources anyway this is already production so your plan your research then you go back to what stuff that you want to do in that particular month so that's why it's ideal if you do this in a quarterly basis because and you plan it in the quarter before that way you can start rolling out in let's say um, June, Ju uh, sorry, yeah, July, August, September, Q3, third quarter 2021. You start working on it in June. At least have a general idea of what's happening in July, August, September. What's your plan? Uh, what festivities are coming up? What's your plan? What's your promotion? What campaigns are you going to do? What products or services are you going to launch? Then you schedule it accordingly okay so at least when you have your framework for three months you know what's happening in uh let me bring that okay and you can start doing your research at this stage it's easy like i said you can do it monthly oops sorry that's the easiest you can do weekly and the more extend the more um time consuming is daily and daily perhaps it's just your work week or actual calendar days whichever that you feel is suitable or any frequency thereof this will give you an idea of how many content you have to churn and develop uh, and it also helps you come up with an idea of what format now for me i've been I've done the visual part and I'm struggling with it, I have to admit. So I cannot imagine you, if you run your own business, if you're running your own practice, if you're a professional, if you're an insurance agent, a unit trust consultant, you're a, you're a lawyer, you, know, you have your firm to run, you have to write this, you have to do your research, you have to learn. So you might want to outsource all these things to a third party firm or even Fiverr if you want to. Okay. Anyway, but you need that. Uh, you need that calendar at least that idea where people you uh, that timeline of what's happening in the coming months without that it's very hard to execute um, and it also helps you prepare and helps you plan right so in june coming back you know let's say you're doing it on a weekly basis so let's for the sake of argument you're looking at four 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 right and if you're in the if you're based in the united states you identify what are the holidays in july what are the holidays in august and september if you're in malaysia in singapore what are the upcoming holidays in july august september so you have at least your national days and festivi festivities covered up like if you're in malaysia august 31st is the national day then come september 16th you have the malaysia day july i don't think this year july is uh, hari raya but you know you can incorporate that if you're based in one of the states you can put 21st july Sarawak day um yeah and things like that okay anyway i digress so you already have let's say in that instance three different national days and festivities then you add in your plan let's say you wanted to do it weekly so 444 that means you have 12 weekly content then my next question to you is what's the theme Let's say you are anticipating uh, uh, you know, preparation for the year end. You know, you're pl going, if you're in that position, right, you can create a monthly theme, a weekly, th uh, I would say at most a monthly theme or a quarter theme. Uh, you know, that's why it gives you uh, a wider time period to work with. Of course, I'm going through 
this at a superficial level when you're doing it when you're sitting down when you have your paper in front of you and your pen and you're wondering what to do you can cons take into consideration of these questions even when i work with clients i will be asking them do you want to do, you wanna do a monthly a weekly or a daily what you want to cover what's your theme across these three months what do you want to okay but there's a okay as usual i cannot escape and you notice that there's that little business canvas there so in this particular video I will focus on your value proposition stuff that you're offering and your customer segment okay the reason I'm struggling now is because I don't have a particular customer segment in mind let's say you are targeting parents for instance right the single uh, well not you're targeting fathers, specifically newborn uh, fathers of newborn children, children or kids who were born in the last 24 months. Um, what would be suitable in that particular period? What can you anticipate would happen? What major milestones would happen within quarter three in 2021? What value proposition? That bearing in mind those things that will be your guideline because the next stage that i want to bring you is this is what i've addressed here is generally frequency what uh, what i've going been going rambling on about so far is generally frequency so let's say you're covering this so you know you have 15 posts to produce but what would those posts be okay now I'm going to go here. Your content can come from in different uh, can come in different forms. Of course, there are three general intentions. You want to inform, you want to share, or you want to warn. Warn slash guide. Okay. You want to share something. You want to inform something. You want to guide or warn. So when I say share, it could be teach as well. Hey, you're informing something hey a sale an upcoming sale or you just want to greet inform greet these are the three primary motivation you want to share okay so you know that greetings would be happy new year uh, happy thanksgiving happy national day but when you're talking about teaching or sharing it goes a bit deeper you're going into the lines of hey um, you know 12 steps of having a safe family gathering in august for example guide or warn we are it's again it's not mutually exclusive right well minus inform and that sometimes you want to share warnings and alerts you want to share campaign materials you want to guide people towards something away from another thing share is that uh, or teaches the general stuff how do you do this how do you do that cooking cooking methods cooking videos are good examples of sharing and teaching you don't exactly warn anyone or guide anyone about diet right first you chop up this you add these, these ingredients you fry it together you add it it's very guide and teach one or guide sorry one and guide it's more of that okay avoid this do that you should craft for this anticipate that um, of course this is not absolute I'm just this is again will it probably will be refined as you as I go along right um, as I work with different different people then with this your intention is to inform share warn or guide the next step is your question what do i mean by question okay who what where when why how oops talk about handwriting and whatever variation okay uh, I'm gonna ignore 
Okay, some of this applies to the, le- the next two, but not so much as the first. When you want to agree, you want to inform. You okay when you're informing? Yes, it covers the where, when, why, and how. For example, you have a sale, a, um, an upcoming promotion in August. What you want to communicate? Now, what sort of content would you like to build up to that? But if it's if it's, if your content are independent of one another, then you can you know do that exactly do that. There's no campaign in sight. Your goal could possibly be for uh, be aimed at SEO purposes. You know, keeping your site, your keeping the algorithms alert that your digital asset is active. Okay, so your intention, your question, then you can go to the theme. What was your theme? Yeah. And theme is quite broad. It's not meant to be specific. It could be me- like men's health, for example. Uh, exercise with toddlers. For example, you know, I'm just making things up. Again, this is a brainstorming session. I hope my goal right now is to share with you, to guide you, to teach you, so that and inspire you. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing everything up together, right? Uh, my intention is to sh- guide you and teach you overlapping how you want to come up with these ideas to populate that five, 15, um, 15 content for your for your social media for your digital asset then within men's health there are many topics you can go for again it could be exercise it can be diet it can be mindfulness it can be time management plus uh, mental health it can be a combination of any so you see this is one this is a way which I would go this is one method that I would do to at least come with a coherent um, theme especially if you're brainstorming like for the next five videos uh, I was thinking of going back to basics the next five this is the first out of five, six rather building content bank um, SEO matrix says that you should care customer journey and sales funnels business model canvas basics Um, value proposition canvas basics number six legal medical financial promotions and advertising whether I'll do it all or not again not it it depends you see Uh, I'll have to do some like some topics as much as I love the legal part which is very straightforward for me and medical but financial promotions and advertising is a bit uh, are things that I need to research further there are common themes in this heavily regulated industries uh, but there are specific themes however again it's something that I can explore in that video or in conversations but coming back title now in my previous videos either I start at title because I feel inspired or I operate in this sense now, what is the intention at the end of the day what do I want you the listener the watcher the viewer the audience to do with this content with this information do you, uh, is it purely just to inform you hey happy new year hey this is good you know to uh, greed inspire right so uh, am I trying to teach share or guide am I trying to share and teach something or am I trying to warn or guide is there any insights that I want to share inside? Okay, so slowly, as I'm talking to you right now, as I'm doing this video, I'm not going to edit it. As usual in my previous videos, I'm just going to speak randomly and rant and banter until an idea, until the, the thought process has been formulated. And this is where this sort of videos help me with my clients, with my consults. Uh, some ideas... All these ideas, I, this is not, I did not develop this on my own, to be fair. I'm sure your, the questions, it came from English, it came from basic English. If, you attended, if you've attended comprehension classes, um, I mean, whatever English classes you've had in uni, you go through the who, what, where, when. I'm taking this concept, I'm applying it with intention. If you've done academic research, which I haven't actually, uh, you know that this is very typical what's your theme what's your area the topic that you want to do oh your title what's your specific title 
if you're an author this is very second nature for you but when you're a business owner you're busy doing your stuff you're running your business you are meeting clients you're deploying your service your products to them often enough something as simple as this would escape your radar and my goal is to bring this back into your radar to show you that hey you who are watching this you already have the key it's just that do you have the time and energy to sit down and you know take a piece of paper and a pen and start scribbling uh, that's a bit of uh, a bit of digression there but anyway the first this first set the intention to inform share warn guide insight or share insight these came from another person a feng shui consultant here in malaysia one of the consultants of the joey up group who shared this in her post um, do check out jy nancy yo let me just write that down jy nancy yo she shared this about two years back uh, make sure that your post i mean she was sharing what dato joey up was telling her uh, she shared that make sure your post whatever you're posting on on uh, facebook has value and what do you mean by having value that means basically and i can't remember for the life of me the specific post but it goes along that line of three things inform share or uh, inform teach or you have some form of insights i can be wrong again I, again like i said i'm trying to bring different concepts and trying to solidify it and then sharing the same approach with different clients you see and uh, hopefully inspire you as well to do the same thing um yeah anyway so from there let's say who can do okay who let's say the where 15 ways of 15 places of doing your exercises uh, on a busy day that's one title 17 foods you have to avoid again combo that's a warn and inside okay inside uh, what uh, where is the green one that's a inside goes with a what men's health diet you add a number three so three uh, three <laughs> food for something you know whatever it is uh, mental health for three energizing food you can get from the supermarket hey you know it's clear cut and so on and so forth before you know it you would be writing so you would have developed tons of ideas so let's use that one topic coming back uh energy energy booster okay that's your theme um let's just do for the sake of it five ways to start your morning with energy three make that 13 apps to help monitor no make the most of your stamina okay so again i'm i have to although i briefly mention it your key audience is crucial when you're doing this exercise because that will influence your um what you're going to communicate as far as possible go back to your business model your business objective what's the value proposition so now if you're if your customer se okay let's say you're an insurance agent right you're selling life insurance your number one segment is men your primary segment men over 40 with kids under 18 now married or not that's a different story um, so you have to understand this customer segment so well that it doesn't have to always revolve around life insurance because 
here's what I notice. Not every life insurance agent will position themselves as a life insurance agent. Sometimes they want to be known as advisors, as coaches to their target customer segment, and they support whatever they're doing through life insurance. So one business model that I am toying is predominantly, I want to provide uh, consulting services, hopefully at a minimal rate or free, to small businesses and professionals or solopreneurs or freelancers, okay? But to ensure that I have enough money at the end of the month, I need to prove it, it, it has to be financed by a specific group of clientele. So not everyone will benefit, will, I will not be selling and pitching to everyone. Rather, I'll be focusing my effort helping selected clients based on my capacity and my competency and where they are in the business cycle or their business stage uh, and this will be who I will work closely they will be supporting me but for the benefit of everyone else I'll be, co I'll be creating these uh, videos on YouTube I'll probably do live sessions I'll probably do um, clubhouse cl clubhouse session so goes back to that 1090 Pareto principle yes I know the original Pareto principle is 80 20 but hey let's be realistic um, sometimes it's between okay fine I'll just for the sake of it I'll just put the 80 20 here and uh, uh, 90 10 there so my goal is my customer segment is in that sense, small businesses and um, professionals, individuals who want to educate, who want to use social media, want to use digital media to promote and connect with their customer segment. I'm not interested in manipulating, I'm not interested in developing copy or content that's manipulating your customers, but rather to educate your customers through non-manipulative and informative ways. So that has been my recurring theme, my personal passion for the last few years. Um, and that's what I would like to stick to. Okay, I digress. Again, coming to yourself, what is your customer segment? What is your value proposition? What do you want to do? Okay. So I don't see myself as a copywriter. Now I remember what I was saying. My point was, I don't see myself as a copywriter or digital marketer per se. I see myself as a business coach of sorts. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I help guide business owners set up their marketing, their digital marketing specifically, so that it's sustainable for them. So likewise, ins life insurance agents you know, they could be positioning themselves as something else and their value is promoted, uh, is communicated through the content that they churn out on their digital asset. Uh, so I'm going to go, it's almost 30 minutes, but I'm going to do right now is quickly tie back all these seemingly random ideas or, or rants that you've been hearing for the past 30 minutes to one coherent stage. To one coherent idea right so first and foremost you start with your frequency that's when you know how many topics do you need in a month so when you're working in a quarter basis I'm going to use uh, black so when you it's ideal to start in the quarter before so that when you run production let's say it takes you a month to do production or a couple of weeks uh, because you won't be doing it 24-7, remember you will be interlacing it with other stuff. In June, you already have that idea of what's going to happen in quarter 3. You will roll out your production and divide production and schedule it for June, for July. Sorry, In July, you will do the same thing for August. In August, you're going to do the same thing for September. By September, you already start preparing for the next quarter. Once you've decided how many... Uh, how many posts you need, what's your frequency, you can come up with a number that you will be able to produce and populate this calendar. Now it is just a marking, at this stage you don't know what's going to go in there. That is why it goes back to who are you speaking to and what's your value proposition to them because once you tie that your business model back to the season, back to the quarter, you'll be able to come up with a recurring theme. 
Now, to populate that, it is this green box that will guide you. First, you have to understand what's your intention for that particular content. Are you trying to inform? Are you trying to teach? Are you trying to share something or guide someone? Right? Then you bring back your English lessons from once upon a time. You, know, you start with the question or you can start with the theme, topic, question, then title. Okay? So your theme is men's health. Your topic is what's what within men's health. You know, nutrition. It could be whatever it is. Let's say, uh, depending on your customer segment and the value proposition that you're trying to promote, and you develop your question. You can throw in numbers at that stage. So stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, stage five. At numbers, numbers meaning five areas, three food types, seven steps that sort of thing and finally you can come up with a title as you build this on paper and pen I don't encourage you to use any software yet if you're an old-school person like me I would prefer a pen and paper then I will take this list and populate and yes I do that either on a spreadsheet a Google spreadsheet or a Microsoft Excel file which I will then add different different components uh, I will add dates I will add um, you know when was it published when was it pub this is later on you don't have to do this now when did you get the idea when did you draft when did you publish it on YouTube when did you publish it on uh, Facebook etc etc that gives you a better idea now I've learned from that I don't think I want to do that for my business for my practice for advert writer for Eldrick Thinker so what I do is I will usually record several videos at one go one or two videos and then I will schedule it um, using the same method anyway and then you produce you can produce using canva if it's a static visual you can use canva you can use pixabay you can use google um, there are many methods out there like for me i use because i am on steam um, the the market space for games and softwares i do i bought a few softwares to help me in develop in creating my video uh, and if you're on my youtube you've seen different different qualities of my video you've seen different production styles sometimes i just speak and i i edit it from there and in the last this year i've decided you know what i have a i have this nif this cute um writing pad i'm just gonna record screen record and populate and schedule so at the end of the day my goal is that you come out of this with a sustainable marketing or rather sustainable digital marketing system habit <coughs> okay again I don't want you to I don't want to take you away from your business I don't want you to take a I don't want to take you away from your clients if you can do it yourself good by all means do it uh, if you need guidance feel free to reach out to me if you need to outsource it Fiverr is there you can even co uh, contact me but we'll see let's let's discuss because I have my limitations as well as I'm showing you here right now I'm not using Photoshop I'm not using Illustrator so you won't get that um, high level advanced uh, production content you know you wouldn't get you wouldn't get that professional level but it's good enough for me and it could be good enough for the target audience that I am helping anyway that is the conclusion so if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me via email you can also scan the QR code and send me a message uh, I'm gonna pause this here okay my email is aldrick at advertwriter.com scan the QR code to reach me and we'll, we'll arrange a consult Finally, I'm Eldrick Tinkatoya, where I help small businesses and professionals increase visibility and assert their credibility through informative and non-manipulative content. Thank you very much. I hope you have an awesome day ahead. Goodbye.